Now less than seven months until Election Day, the Lincoln Project is working behind the scenes in Wisconsin. Created by a group of former Republican strategists, the group's explicit goal is to prevent former President Donald Trump from being reelected. Trig V. Olson is a Wisconsin native who's worked Wisconsin politics for years and is now a senior advisor with the Lincoln Project. And he talked this past week with Jaron from Stevens Point. So what is the exact goal of your trip here in Wisconsin this past week? Um, from a Lincoln Project, um, standpoint um you know wisconsin obviously is going to be ground zero in the 2024 elections and um, i will say as a native of wisconsin um if if there were voters that have to decide the fate of democracy and and what that means for the broader world i'm glad that it's people in wisconsin who are going to take that choice that they have to make seriously. You talk about the origins of the uh, of the Lincoln Project. When the Lincoln Project launched in 2020, uh, it was launched by Republicans. Who makes up the Lincoln Project where we are today here in 2024? Is it still Republicans? Um, you know, so we have a, a massive following on social media and we have, you know, donors all across the, the country. One of the things about the Lincoln Project that, that sometimes isn't maybe as highlighted most of our our donors and a lot of our supporters i would say at least half are former republicans um and then the other half are people who care about democracy sort of from all sides there is an element of conservatives and republicans who believe that maga and what we're seeing is is not the republican party or the conservative movement that they have known on, on issues like ukraine um, it's antithetical to what Ronald Reagan stood for. Even if Donald Trump stands and talks about peace through strength in Green Bay, that doesn't mean that that is what MAGA is advocating. Does the Lincoln Project solely exist because of Donald Trump, would you say? Um, you know, as I said, from the, from the outset, and this is really true, I was party to some of the first conversations long before the Lincoln Project existed when it didn't even have a name. You know, the two goals were to defeat to, to keep Donald Trump at that time, to get him out of the White House, because we felt like he was a threat to democracy. And we ultimately were proven right on January 6th, I believe, um, if not before and have been subsequently. Um, so one was to make sure that he was not in the White House and lost the election. The second was to confront extremism um, and, and MAGA and ensure that people understood that democracy cannot exist when you have the kind of extremism that we were seeing from the right. Are you still considered a Republican? Do you still consider yourself a Republican? I still consider myself a conservative. I don't, I, the Republican Party, much like Ronald Reagan talked about how the Democratic Party left him, I believe the Republican Party has, has left me. You know, I cut my teeth in Wisconsin in 1986, dropping literature for Tommy Thompson. Tommy Thompson worked across the aisle to solve problems. Um, that Republican Party is gone. Up next, the new city attorney who's not leaving the state legislature just yet.